Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and in this tutorial I am going to talk to you guys about all different kinds of buttons that we're going to be able to use in HTML. Okay, so <laughs> there's actually quite a few that we're going to have to get through so uh, I'm going to start off real quick with the first button which is just a plain button that actually doesn't do anything until you use JavaScript or some sort of client-side scripting language to um, add some events to that button. Okay, in other words, make that button uh, do something. So to add a button onto our web page, we add an input uh, element, and I'm going to give that a type of button, and this will make sure that the uh, tag over here is rendered out as a button then I'm also going to give this button a value and the only reason I'm going to give this button a value is uh, because the value determines what shows up on the button so it is actually very different to all the other elements that we learned about in the past whereas the value represents the um, like actual information that is stored in that element okay with a button that isn't the case uh, with a button whenever you're working with the value this is going to be whatever is displayed back to the user on that specific button so I'm going to just say I am a uh, button and now I'm gonna have a button that says I am a button okay and if I run this in Firefox then I can see I've got a button over here that says I am a button and when I click on it absolutely nothing happens okay so these are made more for um, JavaScript and if you're using JavaScript um, and you want the user to be able to click on something and activate some sort of function or code then they can go ahead and do that but uh, if the user isn't going to be clicking on anything or if you're not going to be using uh, client-side scripting languages then this button is not really what you're looking for okay the next button I'm going to show you guys is going to be the button that you click to upload a file and it doesn't actually have a type of button uh, in fact I might have I should have probably given <laughs> this its own tutorial but it would be way too short and I'm going to give this an input type of file and this is going to render out as a button that we can click to upload a file so I'm going to save this now and uh, go back to Firefox and click refresh and as you can see I have my second button over here and next to that it says no file selected and basically if I click browse then I can um, you know just find something that I want to uh, upload and there we go I can upload that file um, and this is going to be kind of different because we are not really going to want to change the wording that appears here so we're not going to work with the value or anything like that um, but what you could do is work with the size and you could make it longer than it should be so um, a size of 50 would then uh, just make the actual size of this um, space that the text can appear over here much longer okay uh, so in other words if we had a really long file name then this these words over here would just extend um, for that size of 50 okay um, so I'm just gonna leave that blank we should probably add in break tags just for display purposes make everything appear on a new line and the next button I'm going to show you guys is also an input and we're going to give that a type of uh, submit and to be honest um, or we can uh, to be honest I was going to say we're going to have to add in the next button uh, at the same time uh, but I'll work on that okay so let's give this a value quickly of submit and a submit button is the button that you click on to say okay I am finished filling in this form I want to send the data back to the server so that is what a submit button is for 
And the next button that I want to add in here real quick is going to be a reset button. So just copy that and paste this. And a reset button actually resets the form. So I'm going to give this a value of reset. And uh, we're going to take a look at these two buttons in just a moment. Um, but there is something I'd like to do here. So let's click refresh. Um, right now there is no data to submit because we don't have any other form elements and there's no um, dot form elements to reset either so these two buttons aren't really going to do anything for us just yet um, but let's go ahead and actually add some more elements onto our page okay and I think we could probably um, just comment this button out so Oh, actually, I'm going to delete it. There's no point. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just going to add a few more elements onto my page. So I'm going to pause the recording and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I added in an input of type text where I'm asking the user for their name. I added an input type password where I'm asking the user for a password. And I added three checkboxes that don't actually do anything. Um, but they just have numbers next to them, one, two, or three, and the user could uh, tick one of those options. But those aren't really important, uh, which is why I did that off uh, camera. And if we uh, click refresh over here, you can see I now have my input elements and um, my actual checkboxes. And that's actually kind of annoying that I didn't put a break tag over here. So. I just want to do that. Not that it uh, changes much, but there we go. That appears on a new line. So let's take a look at what this submit and reset button do. So I'm going to fill in my name and let's fill in a password. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven actually. And uh, I'm going to tick some of those check boxes and we can maybe select a file over here. So pictures and I don't know, we'll pick select a picture of a car. So uh, there we go. Uh, we now have some data filled into our form. But now what happens when I click reset? Well, all of that data gets reset. So it gets deleted. The form appears as if it had never been filled in before. So that is what the reset button does. But uh, if I fill some of this data back in again, so password, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll tick some of these boxes. Just select a file here again. When I click submit, um, you'll notice that the web page is actually going to refresh real quick. So let's click submit, and uh, there we go. It's asking me if I want to save my password because Firefox does that. Um, but what actually happened here was I sent all that data that was filled into this form uh, back to this same page. So remember when I spoke to you guys about the action and the method? Well, that comes into play here because whenever we click on that submit button, all that data gets sent back to uh, whatever page was in our action. And because we left our action blank, all that information got sent back to this specific page. Now you might be asking, well, where is it? Well, because we sent that data through using the get method, we can actually see all that data. And uh, if you take a look right up here in the top of my URL, um, or at the end of my URL, I now have a name. So it says name is equal to Quinton and password is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Checker is equal to one and checker is equal to two. So, um, Coincidentally, the name of my name happens to, or the name of my uh, text input happens to be name. So you can see that when I filled in uh, Quinton into this name, I sent through the name of name and the value of Quinton. And my password, well, the, pass, the name of my password seems to be password so that's correct and I typed in the value of one two three four five so I sent through a value uh, or name of password and a value of one two three four five so that's just basically how uh, 
forms work. I know it's kind of been a little bit of a mystery up until now, up until we learned about the submit button. But uh, I hope that clears everything up for you guys and I hope you can finally see how uh, forms work. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.